and the new man from Wesley College, Josh van der Fleer. A proud moment for him. Under 19 and under 20 international. Prior to this, his first international cap. Your thoughts? Well, very important for Ireland to have a, a, a good start here. England spreading them right from the kickoff. Invention from England. And Watson is the man who comes after it but knocks it forward. Youngs and Cruz. And now Ireland up quickly. Vunapola gets Toner and the ball at the same time and it's kicked through and van der Fleer goes after it also. There is Rob Shaw and van der Fleer there to make the tackle. Good work from the young man on debut. Oh, caught in possession, good tackle from Jonathan Joseph and England come pouring through and the ball is wide and Trimble picks it up and kicks ahead and Mike Brown stoops and gathers and van der Fleer does well to get there. CJ Stander, his back row partner, completes the job. Rory Best and the Irish line out hit their marks on this occasion and it's with the new boy Josh van der Fleer at the back and van der Fleer pulls away and as he offloads to the on rushing Andrew Trimble Trimble knocks forward with possession and territory and maybe it starts here they go to the mall and it's with van der Fleer at the back and England step off it and van der Fleer now feeds the ball back to what? Jamie Heaslip but it's all come crumbling down in front of him and Murray's gonna have to let the ball go. Here's Sexton and Henshaw, and then Murray for Van der Fleer. And we'll have a free play. They'll know it. Penalty advantage as Van der Fleer runs into the man mountain that is Haskell at the feet of Vinopola. And he breaks away, and Van der Fleer is flicked away. And Sexton completes the job, heads the ball high into the sky as Mike Brown goes after it and did it come off the Irishman or the Englishman it came off the Irishman knock forward advantage England and Watson has the ball and the referees had a little look at it and he's gone against van der Fleer offside of the ruck and penalty to England well it was just too tempting for Josh van der Fleer there got himself into a good position but he was offside uh, I think the ball did come off an Irish hand in the air into the Irish 22 care again and Watson again and Ireland are stretched again find their voice again here's van der Fleer away from the first tackle Cole puts him to ground Murray again Sexton White Sexton on the loop Jonathan Sexton's away away goes Johnny Sexton he's got players outside him and maybe Ireland are going to get back in Henshaw head jump in the corner Okay, so far. He's not so in control of the far, ball. So far, so far, he's okay. No. Oh, he's out. Again, just about 11 minutes left in this game. Ireland need to find something. Here's Delan again. Outside him is Henshaw. Can see the ball, needed a little protection. England looked like they were up too quickly there. And the young man, Delan, to Van der Fleer. And the new boys combined. Beautiful from Van der Fleer. Five metres short to score another try is there and Redden snipes around and in goes Van der Fleer. Did he ground the ball? Josh Van der Fleer. Did he drown it there? Ooh, oh, it's not short. Roman, yes. There's no clear evidence that the ball was grounded. Yeah. And when I call you, the ball was held up. Then okay. scrum attacking team, okay? Yes. Takes on two English players, but the ball spilled out, and it's advantage to England. And they look to finish with a flourish, but not like that. Out it goes, and over it is. And Ireland have lost at Twickenham, a draw against Wales at home on the first weekend. And then losses in Paris and London mean any thought of a championship title this year is gone it'll be mid-table at best but on the plus side lots to build on but today was England's day the final score at Twickenham is England 21 Ireland 10